ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಪರಮಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂಶ್ವರಿಪರಾಶಕ್ತಿಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂಸ್ಮದಾ
understand as per the physics you cannot explain explain there is no other celestial body or planet or any planet's moon in the cosmos which does not rotate if he is going around something it is it will be rotating itself see understand the huge force earth generates when it self rotates and moon is going around the earth then why he is not rota self rotating he is placed artificial satellite paramashiva placed him in his jata protected him from the curse of daksha that is why he doesn't self rotate understand whatever i am revealed in akashic records by paramashiva i am sharing with you all and same way agastya coming to south and balancing the earth is true it is astrologically astronomically with all the evidences of the cosmical movements can be established one person has done a thorough research and i think his name is ramanan ramani he has written a blog in that he has posted i'll try to get that blog and share it with you all you can go and read and his researches are true i really want to appreciate him for doing such wonderful service to hinduism if possible soon i wanted to give the highest civilian award of kailasa to him the safranom award people who achieve extraordinary things contributing to hindu civilization enlightened civilization i wanted to offer the civilian awards safrano soon we will be offering the safran omkar awards i would really want to appreciate express my gratitude for shri ramani for doing a wonderful service to hinduism and some more things i'll reveal whatever was revealed to me in akashic records the common man means literally all of you whoever can listen to this satsang you see if you are listening to this satsang you have electronic gadget you have electricity connection you are hooked to grid and you understand english so many things are there so i know who is going to listen to this satsang whoever can listen to this satsang and understand understand for your regular life you don't need solid food i don't want to say any diet is good diet just not eating is the best diet go for nirahara liquid diet go for nirahara liquid diet as much as possible make your food as liquid that also like a traditional herbs turmeric tamarin neem haritaki the traditional herbs tulsi vilva make these traditional items as food for your life i tell you you will live with so much health and long life especially when you take harita kindal your lungs will become so pure it will start converting the oxygen into energy there is a beautiful statement in siddha tradition katrai pusithu vaalum kalai means eating the air and living 
that capacity bio memory will be awakened in you that is why i insist so much on harita ki understand i'll repeat neem bit leaf bilwa leaf tulsi leaf turmeric tamarind harita ki if you keep all these as your food regular food that also in the liquid form avoid solid food almost 100% go for liquid diet i tell you so much good will happen to you intellectually emotionally bioenergy spiritually physically health everything almost 90% i dropped eating stopped eating 90% of my food intake i stopped even an incarnation like me the body is now so useful for the purpose i which i am possessing this body understand the consciousness possessing this body is alien i me arunagiri yogeeshwara came from kailasa living under earth civilization for few thousand years when i decided it is time world needs peace bliss enlightenment i have to bring world peace to save the planet earth i decided to come out and possessed this body when it was getting formed in my mother's womb so pre birth itself i possessed this body and started developing this body with the super conscious dna arunagiri yogeeshwara's dna paramashiva's own dna and started operating started working to spread world peace to bring peace bliss enlightenment this power manifestation science enlightenment science anyhow i will tell what i need to tell and maybe in course of time if the science can catch up with this with this super science it will catch up and establish whatever i am saying and anyhow i am telling you this nirahara samyama if you do even for 121 days you will break the pattern of all the food addiction after that even if you eat once a week you will not feel like something is taken away from you like a celebration like a festival eat don't keep eating as a regular habit stupids eat regularly fools eat regularly don't be dumb or fool stupid be intelligent every time every night you take harita ki so much detoxification will happen your breathing will go please understand there is something called deep breathing means samana the pure energy directly get gets absorbed from the air into system that capacity will increase directly energy and glucose will be produced from the breathing from the air like how a leaf produces star star sorry leaf produces glucose energy directly from the sun and the air same way your system is capable of producing glucose and energy directly from breathing that capacity will be awakened in you if you take harita ki and do nirahara samyama and for a common man regular food is not mandatory it's your false belief with which 
you have been forced bound you are suffering sarira and i'll continue to support all of you and make actually i am going to be intensely making all of you as power manifestors enlightened beings and enlightenment ecosystem each one of you are going to become enlightenment ecosystem understand the oneness is going to be so intense and so ferocious each one of you are going to become enlightenment ecosystem so all i wanted to tell you parama shiva is true his teachings are true imbibe more and more powerful cognitions you have pure consciousness in you which is the very core of parama shiva parama shiva reflects himself purely in each one of us you just need to start giving little attention to that space and start manifesting that space in your everyday lifestyle thought current thoughts emotions actions and everything those powerful cognitions need to become more and more your operating cognitions unfortunately the powerful cognitions operating cognitions have become separating you i am seeing even in hindu gurus many hindu gurus in india they are running allopathy hospital and mekales education system school hey, what are you doing you earn money spreading hinduism so it is a hindu money so spread hindu education spread hindu medical system spread hindu medicinal science it is so unfortunate they earn money using hinduism so hindu money but they spend on strengthening the anti hindu education system anti hindu medical system it is so unfortunate even hindu gurus are not waking up to this reality see hindu gurus run thousands of schools in which they are the students are taught everything anti hindu and the same students who are produced in the schools run by hindus and hindu gurus those students have no respect for these hindu gurus or the ideologies they stand for no, really i wanted to tell thousands of schools run by hindu gurus if you find out how many of those students have taken initiation from those gurus the percentage is not even more than 1% having respect is different taking initiation following that sampradaya if all the hindu gurus make their school students follow their sampradaya i am not even saying you don't have to make your students follow other sampradaya smartas make follow smarta sampradaya vaishnavites make follow vaishnava sampradaya shaivites make follow shaiva sampradaya lingayats make them follow lingayat sampradaya your own sampradaya you just make your students follow your own sampradaya with respect trust and pride give hindu education hindu history hindu gurus run schools and teach the history of ghazni muhammad aurangasi tipu sultan what is going on what are we doing we need to understand the importance of hindu currency if a money is allotted by a hindu king for a hindu purpose or a hindu temple it is called hindu money should be used only for purpose of hinduism we are not understanding the cultural genocide happening all hindu gurus my humble request let's run hindu medicinal system hospital i am not saying allopathy is no way useful allopathy is useful when you 
get into some accident emergency care for all of that allopathy is great for diagnosis all of that but there are tons of things which can be healed and cured permanently maintained completely cured by the hindu medicinal system so understand so much hinduism has to contribute to the world even the ship building there are tons of records our ships were three times bigger than european ships thousands of years before we had submarines we had aircrafts i tell you if world intelligentsia can put little time and money energy intelligence on vedagamas and do research we whole civilization will grow within a decade within 10 years it will grow more than what we have done in last 1000 years all the achievements we have done in last 1000 years we will do more than that within next 10 years if we put little time money energy to do research in whatever is said in vedas and agamas i will inspire the intelligent intelligentsia community people who are who have money it's my responsibility i'll inspire them to do research so much of detoxification physical level so much of knowledge in every field physics chemistry biology cosmology astrology in every field so much can be given to the world and hindus are so sweet we never bother about copywriting the, our knowledge now our knowledge is always free we believe in knowledge is free and i tell you thousands of years before tesla's inventions and the idea of tesla tower we have established energy wireless energy relay mechanisms into temples or wireless energy relay mechanisms otherwise no need for such elaborate structures if you see the south indian temples oh god the dravidian temples ah you don't need such elaborate structures just for worship it was for much more than worship understand because it's almost like a whole country was busy only in building temple why will they do if it's only worship no no it was much more than just worship i want to tell you all i am free and absolutely protected healthy happy blissful whatever i am doing as a reason so all of you spend more and more time and energy and experiencing oneness with parama shiva chant mahavagya om nityananda parama shivoham continuously manifest powers spend as much time as you can on enlighten app we are uploading now thousands and thousands of satsangs especially the bachelor's degree in living enlightenment it's getting really polished and getting shared spend as much time as possible doing the bachelor's in living enlightenment spend time in living enlightenment app enlightenment app enlighten app enlighten app spend time in kailasa digital nation website kailasa website is what i call kailasa digital nation strengthen your powerful cognitions more and more 
live enlightened lifestyle share kailasa digital nation with everyone enlighten app with everyone make more and more people do bachelors in living enlightenment all the satsang centers all of you create a group bachelors in living enlightenment group enlighten app group and start spreading the science of enlightenment create an ecosystem enlightenment ecosystem around you by enriching and causing that's all for now my blessings let's all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching causing living shuddhaatvaita saivam parama shivoham the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful